Good evening, thanks for joining us. 64-year-old Henry West left his job at Pine Grove Cemetery in 2012. He didn't leave on his own terms though and was not happy with his former place of employment. Yesterday morning, West shot three people at the cemetery on Grand Avenue in Wausau and killed one. Today, he appeared in court for the very first time. And News Watch 12's Rose McBride has the details of the victims of the shooting. Rose, what new information do we have now? Stephen, we now know the ages of the victims of yesterday's shooting. A 52-year-old Wausau woman was killed at the scene. A 60-year-old Wausau man was taken to Aspirus Hospital and is currently in critical condition. A 70-year-old Wausau woman was taken to the hospital as well, and she is currently in stable condition. All of the victims were either employees of the cemetery or related to employees of the cemetery. We are starting to learn more details about what happened yesterday, but we still don't know why. Why West did what he did. Ribbons and bows now adorn the Pine Grove Cemetery sign, where just yesterday the entrance was covered in crime scene tape. At about 8.30 yesterday morning, 64-year-old Henry West allegedly shot three people at the cemetery, killing one 52-year-old Wausau woman. Today, he appeared in Marathon County Court. The defendant appears in custody with counsel Emma Lawton. The judge found there is probable cause to hold West in jail and set his bond at $1 million. The Wausau police recommended West be charged with one count of murder and two counts of attempted murder. Police could recommend more charges after they finish investigating. This morning, police were still investigating a related incident, a fire at the Lakeview Apartments on Fulmer Street in Schofield. The primary focus is continuing the investigation, gathering evidence, and making the scene safe so we can return the scene to uh, a state of normalcy. Wausau police confirmed West did live at the apartment complex, but was in the process of being evicted. While police were investigating, all people who lived in the five buildings within the complex had to leave. We have an area set up at the Schofield City Hall in Schofield for any residents to report to. This afternoon, people were able to get back into their apartments once it was confirmed they were safe. In a press release this afternoon, Wausau Police Chief Ben Bliven said there will be more search warrants executed, more evidence tested, and more witnesses interviewed. Wes will be back in court October 18th, where he'll be formally charged. In Wausau, Rose McBride, Newswatch 12.